All right, I want to show you what's in my camera bag, but first, my coffee. Mm, that was good. All right, let's take a look at what's in my camera bag. Of course, this is not my camera bag, but inside it, you'll see it does fit a very compact bag. So I'm gonna show you what I generally take with me when I go camping or any other trips to take pictures of family and friends. I've got a nice compact bag uh, that works quite well. There's some pockets on the outside uh, where I put uh, a pen. Always nice to have something to write on. And of course, uh, this is Velcroed in, but also there is a zipper on this thing as well, so I can get access to it. So, first off, the camera of my choice is the X-T30. Uh, this is one of my favorite cameras. I know I have access to all the cameras uh, that Fujifilm offers, including the new X-T4, but I still go to the X-T30 because it's lightweight and compact. And for me, this is what mirrorless camera is really all about, is having you know, the best performance possible in the smallest and lightest weight body uh, that you can find. And I just love the styling of this camera as well. Now, of course, I do have a camera strap uh, on it. Just uh, my, my wife always complains when I don't have a camera strap. She's always worried that I'm gonna drop it. So I just use the default one uh, that is included. Now, what lens do I have always attached to this camera? It is the XF 35 millimeter F1.4. This is my all time most favorite lens to take with me. It's a 50 millimeter equivalency and uh, it really just gives me a very versatile camera so I can take pictures of my family if I wanted to and, and it creates nice shallow depth of field because it's an f1.4 lens. But also I can shoot, you know, uh, generally wider scenes if I wanted to and also take, you know, some close-up shots. And for me, the pictures that I like, you know, I generally like to have nice shallow depth of field into it, whether it be, you know, people, or whether it be insects or flowers or anything like that. Uh, in addition to that as well, I think, you know, this is one of the, uh, the sharper lenses to have. Uh, generally, I don't use a zoom lens, and uh, the 35 f1.4 is, you know, super sharp and has this nice contrast to, to the images. So I love this lens, it always basically sticks on. Now, my second lens I have with me is the XF 50 millimeter. This one is in silver, but it also comes in black. I just happen to have the silver sample with me. I don't have a black one, otherwise I would prefer to have the black finish. But this is super compact. As much as I love the XF 56 1.2, and that's such a dreamy lens to, to shoot with, this is just you know all about size and weight. And I think at F2, I'm generally shooting outdoors and it's very good lighting, you know, but with the longer focal length, which is somewhat equivalent to 75 millimeters, and, and at F2, it also creates very nice shallow depth of field to isolate my subject from the background. And to me, again, I love shooting with this, but also it, you know, I could be sitting at the beach and taking pictures of the kids and not have to physically walk closer to them. Alrighty, um, you guys remember what this is? This used to be a, a film canister somewhat, and this is where I keep my uh, extra SD cards. Um, I always have extras just in case uh, something does happen and I keep it in something like this which is kind of nice and compact, um, somewhat weather sealed as well if you want to think about that. So you can pick this up. Nice job. Of course, I always have a lens cloth with me. So again, you know, use it to, to uh, kind of wipe the lenses off so that uh, when I take pictures, uh, images are, are always going to be the best and optimal uh, as it can be. And I also have a little compact flash with me. I know this camera does have a built-in flash, as you can see, but uh, I carry with me the EF uh, X20 flash. Uh, it runs off triple A's. That's not the ideal solution for me, but you know, the effective range on this flash is much higher than this. So when, when I'm shooting against uh, the sun or in a silhouette situation and I, and I wanna fill in the subject's uh, face, this does come in quite handy and it's pretty small and compact. So it's kind of one of my favorite compact flashes to, uh, to carry with me, no pun intended on that. Um, I do have extra batteries. Um, so I have one in the camera and I generally have two of these uh, with me, as you can see right there. 
and that should be more than enough uh, for what I do for shooting in a full day's worth. And in fact, generally when I'm shooting, I just drain one battery at most and maybe a quarter of this battery bit. You know, just to be safe, I always carry at least two extra aside from the one that's in the camera. I carry a little battery pack. Uh, this is not a PD battery pack, it's just a standard USB pack and, it, and I use it mainly to charge my uh, smartphone in situations where, you know, I'm going to be out uh, for a while. So uh, in addition to that, I also have my charger cable for my phone. And then of course I also have a USB-C uh, cable as well if I needed to, in an emergency, charge the, the camera directly using the, the little uh, battery pack here. Now, of course, this battery pack only charges the camera when it's off. Uh, if you are looking at a battery solution that will power the camera, you might look at the uh, power delivery um, power banks that are available and I have a video uh, on that as well. And then lastly uh, in my bag is basically an SD card reader to my phone. I know all of our cameras have this Bluetooth, you know, Wi-Fi connectivity. You can use the app to transfer images. Sometimes you're just lazy and, you know, just having this, I plug it into my phone and uh, stick in the memory card from the camera. And then I'm able to actually just copy those images onto my phone and then share them on social media uh, immediately. And sometimes it's just quicker, right? So uh, that's something I always have uh, in my bag. And that is about it to be honest with you. So all this fits in a tiny little bag uh, and for most parts I can shoot everything uh, with this little setup. Uh, there are situations where I'll exchange a 50mm lens and I'll stick in the XF16 f1.4 instead if I'm doing some sort of uh, landscape shooting or you know astrophotography. But aside from that, that's what's in my bag. I hope you enjoy this and I'll see you next time. <laughs>